Welcome. Today I will show you how to build your own Hugo website and how to deploy it to Netlify. First, you have to install Hugo on your local machine in different operating systems. It can change. So I will leave you a link in the description to find installation for your operating system. When you finish installing Hugo, we can go creating our first website, Hugo website. Okay, open up your terminal and type Hugo new site and then your project name. I will name it as Hugo-tutorial. Now Hugo will create the boilerplate and the folder for us. Go to CD Hugo tutorial. Okay, now we can initialize the git. Type git init. It says it's initialized and then git add that to look at changes and add our first commit. Git commit dash m for message. I will name it as initial commit. Enter. It's recorded. Okay. Now in Hugo you need a theme. Themes are all open source and you can change style of your website. In default Hugo does not come with a theme so you have to find yourself a theme. But today I find you a theme so I will use it. And there is something important. When you use a theme on Hugo, you have to edit to git some modules. To make it, type git, some module, and add, and your theme name, and your theme URL, and then your theme location, which is themes and theme name. Hit enter, it will clone the theme and move it to themes folder okay our theme is cloned now we have to do some simple changes on our config.toml file to make it i will open up my vs code inside config.toml we can make changes about our theme about our website so to connect a theme just type theme equal to and than the theme name, which is Anubis. Save and run your Hugo locally, Hugo Sir, to test it out. Copy the link and paste your URL. You have to see the title and the footer. We can add our first post using Hugo new posts and the post name which is hello world.md. Hugo is a static site generator so it uses markdown files and you don't have to work with databases. Hit enter and it's created. Go to VS Code and go to content, inside content and inside the post. You have to see hello world.md. Hugo created title date and the draft. So I want it to be publicly available. So I will set draft true to false. And if we head back to terminal and we run our local server, Hugo serve and go to our website, refresh, you see our first post is live. To build your Hugo websites, you have to type Hugo-D which is builds it and makes it static. We go dash D. Yep, it's build it and it will create a public folder and put files inside the public folder. Okay, now I want to create a GitHub repository and connect our Hugo website to our GitHub repository. Go to GitHub and click the plus icon and click new repository. I will name my repository as Hugo tutorial and I will make it publicly available. Create repository. Okay. Now we just need to copy that to connect it 
to our repository, head back to terminal, paste it, okay. And inside VS Code, you can just click the cloud icon. Okay, now, as you can see, it's uploaded to our repository. Now we have to add git ignore file, so type git ignore. And inside that git ignore file, we can add public and slash. With that, we don't need to upload public files to our repo. Why? Because Netlify will build it automatically and serve it to our users, which we don't need to do that. And uh, save our changes and send our files to our repo. Okay, it's done. Now we can move on to Netlify. Netlify is a service to deploy our websites. It has a free plan for static websites using GitHub. Click login and login with your GitHub account. I will click new site from Git and continuous deployment. I will choose GitHub. It is authorized. I will search repo. Okay, I configured it and now we can see our repository. Click on that. Netlify will fill us the commands and some information automatically, so we don't need to work on that. Just click deploy site. Now it is deploying, building it, and sometimes it can fail like this. So to fix it, we have to create netlify.toml file in our project. So head back to project and type net defy netlify.toml. Inside that, we have to paste our Hugo version. To learn your Hugo version, type Hugo version. And mine was is 0.78.1. Okay, 0.78.1. Save it. Publish changes. Okay, and go back to Netlify, go to deploys, and yeah, it automatically saw that and it is trying to build that again. Yes, you can see it said site is live. If we go to site overview, you see it says published. On the top, there is a Netlify app link, click on that. You can see our website, which is not styled. So to fix it, we have to go back and change our base URL. I will copy the Netlify app URL and change it. Paste it here, save it, and publish the changes again. Okay, Netlify is built it again, and you can see our styles are now working. We can click on the post, we can go back to sites. So if we want to add a new post, just go to your terminal and type Hugo new post and your post name post one dash MD and go to your editor, go to content and post. I want to make it public. So set draft to false and add some dummy content and save and also publish changes to GitHub. Netlify is building the app and it's done. We go to website, refresh. Our second post is here. We can click on that and see the details. That's basically how we can do it. We create our Hugo website and we deploy it to Netlify.